We almost lost Scuba and LET. Yeah, I need you guys to know that. That was wild. He legitimately almost died. Because I always kind of thought you had a little, a little crush on Tori, but that's wrong. No, me and you guys Corey, don't have a little crush on each other at all. Oh my, my God, please! My CPs. Uh, the, give the give it to mm -hmm. him. <laughs> she was like, so. I don't know about that. Okay, he won't say it. I can't say that. I've taken too many sensitivity trainings. Yes, you're right. Okay. She was. My I know the f script. Hey guys, welcome to Annie Wood. We have a very special guest today. I'm so excited about. You know we're obsessed with the challenge. And if you're not obsessed with the challenge, you have not been doing your homework. You have hundreds of thousands of seasons to watch and you have a TJ Lavin to get close to. And you have so many great, amazing, outrageous characters who can not only compete physically, but are insane and manipulative and- And entertain. And very entertaining. And one of our favorite, sometimes good guy, sometimes Bad guy. He won the uh, Ride or Dies with Tori Deal. He was a deal. champion. He won uh, hundreds of thousands of dollars with our girl Tori um, on the Ride or Die season. We have Devin, Devin on Walker, the show today. Right? Walker, Devin Walker. Um, you may know him from OnlyFans. <laughs> <laughs> but we love him. We're really excited to have him on. It was an excellent episode. And we love to grow our challenge family. So please enjoy. You can also see me on the road. The Welcome to Annie Wood Tour is kicking and going hard. You can see me on my birthday, July 20th. I'm so excited for you guys to come out. It's almost here. It's coming It's almost up. here. My big, big, big birthday. It's There's zero involved. I'm not going to tell you which one. Um, <laughs> I am turning 100 years old on the 20th. And you can come see me at Wise Guys in Las Vegas. I'm having a fun-filled birthday weekend with my family. So come to that show. It will sell out. It's one show only. Um, all that money is going to go to, um, helping the poor, uh, it's going to help the, um, <laughs> the plant. Economy. No, what's the, what's the plant in little shop of horrors. It's going to help the little, too. I'm going to feed the little shop of horrors plant. Okay. Audrey too. And then it's going to go, it's going to go, I'm going wild <laughs> and all the children will be fed. Where can they see you next? They can then see me at the Montreal Comedy Festival, the Comedy Store. Then I will be in Greenville, uh, Greenville South Carolina, uh, August 28th and 29th. You can then see me. Uh, oh, wait, I meant July. I meant July. Okay, it's, that's all in July. Then in August, <laughs> I'm so hot. Just go like this. It's right here. Look at all the dates right oh, here. Oh, yeah, look at all the dates here. I'm going to be in Philadelphia. I'm going to be in... Canada. I'm going to be in Austin. I'm going to be in San Francisco. I'm going to be all over there the place. There she goes. Go to AnnieLetterman.com slash shows. August 1st, though, come to the Comedy Store. It's the second Annie Wood and Friends. It's going to be awesome. I have Jesse Jetsky Johnson, Andrew Santino, I think Craig Robinson. Ed Bassmaster. Ed Bassmaster is coming all the way from Philadelphia. And another surprise guest. We cannot wait to see you there. I love you guys. Enjoy the show. Welcome to Annie Wood. Um, okay, we have an fair. exciting episode of Annie Wood today. Oh, yeah. We have one of our challenge favorites, Devin. I just found out your last name is Walker, which is also Todd's last name. It's actually my middle name. Oh, it is? Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you're not related. <laughs> no, it's my mom's maiden name, so maybe maybe, you, maybe through there. Maybe you guys are brothers. Jersey. Well, his mom's Jersey. Asian. Do you have any family in Jersey? No. No, 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 no family in Jersey. No, can't say that I do. But I saw you were in LA and I DM'd you and I'm very cool. excited that you came. You're our second challenge person on our podcast. Yep, I challenge. heard Jordan went a little long. Jordan went a little long. Jordan yeah. goes long. Jordan, and then we were like going out to eat afterwards. I was like, Jordan, what is going on? Yeah. We have a Jordan now. We have our very own Jordan. Who works in the building? Or are you talking about He's just about with us. Jordan? I'm just saying he's ours now. Oh, okay. He's with us Got a it. lot. Yeah, he come, yeah, yeah. He okay. hangs out a lot. We've had some epic nights. He came to the comedy store one of the nights when Chappelle was there. Yeah. So it was a fun star so that Kanye was there. And then for the challenge fans. But it was fun to see people freak out about Kanye and then also Jordan. Right. Because they're very similar. But you guys have like a cool, well, they <laughs> yeah. dress ridiculous. Uh, yeah. <laughs> they're both wearing shoulder pads, weirdly <laughs> yeah. enough. Yeah. Um. But that's what I like about um, your guys' level of fame is you're like super famous to a bunch of people and then other people have no clue who you are. Correct. Which is cool, right? Uh, and most of the people who really like us have something a little bit off. Yeah. 
about Welcome them. to Anywood. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> so, I'm holding a fake yeah, hammer. Holding, <laughs> no offense to the fans. I'm off. I'm completely off as well. Right. So I get it. Um, but yeah, we have it's like an older demographic. It's an interesting group of individuals that watch that show. Yeah. For sure. Well, it's been on for twenty over twenty years, right? At mm-hmm. this point. It is weird. It's like you go back and you go like you see people get real young. I was uh, with Veronica yesterday, and she did her first show in 1998. It's crazy. Okay, just so everyone. How aware. old were you in 1998? Uh, I was nine. Nine. I was nine. He's, you're older than Todd. Yeah, and not related. Yeah, it's we got crazy. nothing in common, Todd. Todd's the youngest boy in the, in the room. We really don't. And then, did you watch the challenge before you were on it? Um, have you have you seen that? <laughs> that skit that they do where the one guy dresses up like a bunch of different characters and he interviews people about reality tv have you seen this no i haven't seen it's that. fucking hilarious <laughs> but the main question is uh so did you watch the show before you were on the show yeah. and then it cuts to him with a wig on and he's like so the thing about the show is i never watched the show before i was on the show and it's it's making fun of it but i didn't yeah but why would it's I feel a, like yeah. making fun of me yeah uh i don't know look someone looked that guy up he's very funny you were already the one um, first, right? I was already the one. They asked me to do the challenge, and I was like, all right. First of all, I didn't expect that. Didn't think I had super great performance there on already yeah. the one. Not, not entirely sure what they saw. Um, the biceps? But, it, well, I was pretty jacked, which was sick. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. They, they thought it was – They thought I think they thought that I was different. Yeah. Right? So then they brought me on the challenge, and the rest is history. You know we lost first, right? You remember that season? What, when you lost on? Me and Cheyenne lost. Okay. We lost. I went home. Yeah. Went on a bender. Uh, They were calling, calling, calling. Thought it was my ex-girlfriend. Ignore, ignore, ignore. Splitting headache. Finally, I answer. They're like, we need you to come back. It's been three days. I'm home. Yeah. I was like, why? They're like, can't tell you. Need you to come back. The car is going to come pick you up in an hour. I'm like, all right. They brought us back for absolutely no reason at all. <laughs> We'd already lost. And then we pulled white skulls all the way to the final and came third. Oh, perfect. So not only was should I have never been on the challenge to begin with, but we fucking sucked and lost <laughs> immediately and then got a gift chance for no reason well, at all. Well, you are a glow up story, yeah. I think. You've become mm-hmm. maybe be, this, uh, become an athlete. So here's the thing. I had a glow down <laughs> okay. and then I had a respike. Okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I was... I was a division one recruited lacrosse player okay. in high school. Yeah. I used to be like pretty Jack 205 worked out every day. No, never. That was lacrosse, no, right? Hashtag Wasn't Duke. Duke. Lacrosse? Hashtag yeah. Duke. No, not Dave. <laughs> B. No, didn't but have a mullet even, either. Wait, weren't they? Did not didn't have they a get, mullet. They got uh, off, right? That girl was Expunged. like. Expunged. Yeah, that girl was like, my bad. I was kidding. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. That's how that went down. It's crazy to take out a whole team. <laughs> and then real. I still remember. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, and, and honestly, we all still think it happened. Yeah, I know. I'm like, did they she? Can't, they're yeah, never going to shake done. that. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, no, not me. But so I was an athlete. I was a three-sport athlete in high school. Was going to play in college. Got hurt. Stopped. Started uh, these. And then wasn't an athlete yes. anymore. So it's always been in there. And then I just yeah. got so annoyed at the fessies of the world for talking <laughs> shit. Yeah. That I was like, you want to know what? I'll start trying again. Yeah. You idiots. Well, how much time do you have to train before a season? A lot of time. Yeah. <laughs> There's no excuse. There's no excuse to well, go in there and not be able to run a mile. As you know, as one of the crazy listeners, you know, you watch and you go, you know, like, I'm not in great shape, but I could probably, like, run more than Anissa, you know? And then I was missing a flight mm. <laughs> the other day, and I basically gave myself asthma running to, I was like, oh, yeah, I don't have it. <laughs> <laughs> You're thing- not just born with endurance. <laughs> No, people, people, I love Twitter so much because it's just a place for delusional yes. idiots to go and say dumb shit. And I love doing that. I'm a delusional idiot that says dumb shit. So anyone that thinks they would beat any of us in anything it's is a de- moron. Yes, 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 yes. We like, especially just look at the success of rookies on that show yeah. that get casted from other shows. Yeah. Like if you took a normal random kid from the Midwest, it's like, I'd body you. It's like, bro, you get smoked by everyone. Yeah, you get f- dusted by everybody. It won't. It wouldn't be close. Yeah, one hall brawl away. Yeah, just, it's just so layered. It's not even like the, the tricky part about the show is that 
it is 80% off camera and in your head. Yeah. So if someone thinks they can get dropped in there, they may see it. But what they didn't see is that before that, you had to sleep next to like a guy eating a bunch of protein and farting in a twin size bed and then wait in a bus for four hours and then eat shitty food that makes you have diarrhea. And then you, but after all that, you get one time to do the thing. Yeah. You get one opportunity. Yeah. And that's what you guys are seeing us doing. Well, you are a champ. <laughs> yeah, I won. You did just win the, well, that was probably a while ago for you, but the, it was the new die. for us, the ride or die. Year Congratulations. Ago. Thank you. What'd you buy with the money? Nothing. Oh, good boy. Didn't use didn't use any of it yet. Oh, good. Yeah. But you got it? They paid it to oh, me. Oh, we're different. We're different types. When are we gone? Yeah. I'm Budrich, baby. Yeah, they paid. I'd be having a lot of Swarovski crystals on my things. No, I'd be like, look at this big hammer. Yeah. It's crystals. <laughs> <laughs> no, they did pay it. They did pay us the money. Uh, but I know myself. Yeah. And like I'm uh, I'm okay. So I like took that and I was like, nope, put it, get it away. Yeah. So I don't I won't have access to it for i guess like six more months oh cool and then what do you do you have any plans knows? i don't know <laughs> boats you guys are on boats i feel like a lot. i already have a boat you have a boat you yeah. own it i got oh, a i fun. got a big pontoon boat that's great and a house and it's like a shitty little car so i don't really need it and anything. then are you gonna stay living there is that where you want to stay in massachusetts yeah live yeah there forever. and then you want to just travel around for to do this shit yeah pretty much i mean i don't want to do it forever yeah what's what's the next thing I'm you boring do? to be fair sometimes it takes a lot of time. Yeah. It's just three months long. Well, you don't want to like get another steady gig and then have to leave it though either, right? But you can't just wait around for the on the tit of the challenge. This is <laughs> such a metaphor for every everything. Yeah. yeah. Everyone's like, why don't you have a girlfriend? I'm like, well, you can't just wait around on the tit of the challenge. Yeah. <laughs> it's the same You're fucking idea. Like I'm dating idea. TJ, okay? Yeah. It's fucked. I like when TJ goes, see you never. <laughs> Yeah, he's not allowed to do that anymore. <laughs> no, woke TJ, woke TJ uh, is in the building, and it is not chill. People quit, and he's like, "Well, you know, some yeah, well, we because tried. but that's why we wanted oh, to get you the Bud Light. Lord. We wanted to get you a Bud Light because we know you're an ally. We, I'm assuming you're this only, is a good clean drink for the record. You're crushing an OnlyFans, yep. and I'm assuming it can't all be women on there. Uh, if by can't all you mean aren't any. <laughs> <laughs> then you would be correct. Um, so yeah, no, I've always been a supporter uh, of whatever anybody wants to do that doesn't hurt anybody else. Yes. And the amount of sensitivity trainings I've taken in the last three years are f insane. And there's probably no solution at the end. It's like basically say nothing. Right? Pretty much yeah. shut the f up, Devin. No one wants to hear it. And I get that. That's fine. You I kind of had my moment. You a little bit tamer. Is that, is that because of that? Uh, that's because I wanted to win. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we enjoy it. We, we yeah. didn't miss the old rile them up, Devin. Yeah. yeah Look at that fucking shit talking. I got a ring now. I feel like you. So I'll be back. No one's safe now. I know. It's almost, I feel like I should have sensed your cockiness online too. At yeah. one, in between the announcement. I do. I'm team cocky. That's why I like you and Jordan. Yeah. Um, I like that you hadn't won and we're still cocky. That's yeah. fun. Yeah. Well, I knew it was going to happen eventually. Yeah. We um we love Tori. Dave, Dave is great. Dave is great. We love Dave. Yeah, she is. She's fucking stud. Are you guys gonna team up again, you think? Yeah. 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 If 100%. there's another ride or die, it's just you two? Or who would you go with? I don't think they'd let us do it again. Um, I'm not sure if that's how that works, but uh if I could pick any partner, I'd pick her hundred yeah. percent every single time. Who would be second? Um so now again. Are we trying to win or are we trying to entertain? Uh, give us both answers. Uh, Casey, if I'm trying to win. Right. We, I've worked with Casey before. She is very uh, hands-off. You don't need to coach her. She mm -hmm. can handle yeah. her own shit. Yeah. And she's really f***ing good at pretty yeah. much everything. Um, so, Casey, if I want to win, uh, probably... <laughs> Probably Big T for entertainment yeah. purposes. I'd go Big T. Yeah. Or who else is real funny? Amanda. I'd go Big T or Amanda, Amanda. for entertainment purposes. What about purposes. Olivia? Didn't Olivia say she had a crush on you? Olivia has been on record. That Was that this show? I don't know when she said yeah, it. I think that was, yeah, I think that was show? like almost like a reunion. Everything's thing, meshed right? in with me. Got it. I have ADD. I don't remember what season's what. 
Todd can help me, but the thing is, I think oftentimes people like the idea of me and then they meet me and then they're like, eh, I don't know about that. So I I don't know if the crush is still active or not. Yeah. It existed at some point. Well, now she's got her sweet little nose job too. Mm-hmm. <laughs> her court ordered nose job. Her sue MTV if you don't fix my face job. Dude, she got hit so hard in the face with that golf ball. It's one of the craziest things I've ever seen in my life. And then oh, she rolled God. up to the elimination. They made her come back and she goes, Hey, yeah, you guys sabotaged me right out of the game. And I was like, oh, <laughs> sorry about that. We didn't quite realize that. Oh, you nothing. guys got Jordan wallpaper. That's chill. Hilarious. No, there's two hands. He's really, he's really making <laughs> an impact. Unbelievable. One, I need some of that. This could be you. Yeah, that one's yeah. me for sure. 100%. Or uh, what's, um, what's uh, who are we talking about? The couple that's not on anymore? Cara Maria and what's his uh, name? Polly. Polly. Oh, Polly. <laughs> Polly and Cara. Yeah. They like, re- they got themselves in trouble. I don't even know what they did, but they're, to be fair, the two of them are not super nice. <laughs> yeah. Um, it feels like they made their entire identity the challenge, and it's kind of sad that. It's a tough route to go down, but you know, it happens to a lot of people. Yeah. And it's like, if you don't do the appropriate amount of psychedelics or like have a family, or like some other shit going on, it's easy to get sucked into the vortex. Uh, Cause if you never break your little, the plane of reality that you've built around yourself, you're pretty much fucked. Yeah. Yeah. Now, okay, so you go, you do Are You The One as your first reality show? Or yeah. is that just your, okay, how did that happen? I was singing karaoke in San Diego. Oh, okay. What were you mm-hmm. singing? Remember the now, song? they claim that this is inaccurate. So someone emailed, actually emailed me from Lightheart and was like, so who is it that you say found, like asked you to apply for our show? And I was like, this person. And they were like, they don't work for us. (laughs) So I think that there's a rogue agent going around, like recruiting people for networks they don't work for, or they're lying. Yeah. One of the two. But I sang karaoke and this woman did like a quick OTF outside and what then is OTF? on the fly okay. uh, interview. So it was just like me. It was actually on the 4th of July. Um, it's the anniversary. Yeah. I sang, I sang creep by Radiohead, uh, radio and I went to pour a candle on my chest, uh, <laughs> like Ricky Martin style. Uh-huh. And it was an oil candle. So I just dumped hot oil all over myself. <laughs> and they were like, uh, you, we got to get a camera yeah, on this yeah, guy. Yeah. Stat. yeah. And so then we did that, and then they asked me to apply, and I applied, and they made me make a video. And I made a video, which is probably still on YouTube and is fucking electric. Yeah. Oh, you still stand by it. I would cast that kid at every <laughs> oh, fucking time. Oh, I love time. that. See, cocky Devin. Very, Self-love, very folks. funny. Very funny. Uh, um, what were you video. doing before that? What was the plan in life before that karaoke, that faithful karaoke? Um, so I was a, a cannabis. Um, businessman okay. uh, welcome to la baby yeah. <laughs> we got a lot of, i know about and, a bunch uh, of those <laughs> he's and, a gino speedweed yeah. if you guys know what i'm talking about and a bartender okay yeah i was uh i was on the fast track to being fat. like a fat town yeah, yeah. A fat guy yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah pretty much yeah. yeah i was gonna get like a pain is weakness leaving the body tat and kind of just call it a day <laughs> um and then yeah, they came knocking. No, I don't know. I would have would have done, but I would have done something. I yeah. always kind of was. I've always kind of been doing like pretty cool shit. To be yeah, fair. I don't like yeah. like doing boring shit. So. Well, I was. I lived in Santa Fe, New Mexico, for seven years, and I was a a go go dancer. There was this one nightclub. I was a bartender, a go go dancer at this nightclub, and one night, um, one a uh, couple weeks, they were doing the Real World Road Rules Challenge when it was still called the full name, um. It was probably like 2004, maybe 2005. And I got, I wasn't working that night, but I was, I was kind of sick. And I ran into Shane from Road Rules. Shane Landry. Yeah. And he was like, you gotta, he's like, we're going to go to Swig tonight. You gotta come. So I chug a bunch of Dayquil 
and drink some white Russians. And I go and I- Which is a classic combo. It was perfect. It was <laughs> Milk a, and cough medicine. Oh, it was a, it, let's just say when it came out, it was like a creamsicle. Yeah. I threw up all over the cast. It was um, Coral. Rachel was there. And not Rachel's not really the one you want to- <laughs> Rachel Robbins? Yeah, they were they were holding her back. Actually? Um, oh, yeah. No, they were livid. I mean, everyone was so mad at me. I've never seen uh, Rachel upset. Yeah. Yeah, she's always, like, super nice. Yeah. No, yeah. I think uh, probably getting splattered with a mm. milky orange mm. substance. And so I throw up. They weren't filming that night, unfortunately. Um, they... This was in the real world. This was this real was world? this was the actual. This real was world? when they were doing the challenge in oh, Santa Fe. Got it. But it was still real world road rules challenge. Oh, and they could like go out. Yeah. So this was like a night off without a yes crew. This was a night off. Understood. It wasn't like you guys have to go hang out in a dome. We don't <laughs> get to leave the. Property. And what do you think happened? Was it these type of situations? People were just getting into trouble, um, or was it the quarantine that just ended it all? I don't know exactly what happened when, I mean, over time, right? They slowly start to take your freedom away. Yeah. It's a <laughs> metaphor for life. Big pharma. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, and then typically, and everyone listening to this should pay attention to this. Once they take your shit, they don't give it back to you <laughs> ever. It's gone, and you never get it back. Are you guys, so, like, shoving things up your asshole when you go? Kyle did. <laughs> Kyle ran up the Rock of Gibraltar with uh, insulin in his ass because he <laughs> didn't think they were going to let him compete if they knew he had diabetes. The true that's story. That's, like, the worst answer, though. I wanted it to be something else. No, that's a true story. I was like, he found quaaludes? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No. Oh no. my God, Kyle's hall brawl broken finger is a classic. Yeah, when he just looks up at the camera. He's <laughs> just like handling it well. We love his his hair and teeth too. We like the... Kyle cute. is one of the funniest He's motherfuckers cool as of hell. all time. He's cool as hell. He's so funny. We haven't met him, Wes. We just know Wes, Nehemiah, Jordan, and you know. Wes our, is funny. Our first, our in-person people. Wes is funny. Um, Jordan has his moments. Nehemiah is pretty funny. <laughs> Uh, Kyle's very funny. Kyle's funny. hilarious, yeah. Big T's very funny. Very funny. Big T tried to be a stand-up comedian. Oh, actually. really? Okay. Yeah. Uh, she's got some funny stories about that. Big T Theo became one. We never talked to Theo. Well, you know Theo Vaughn used to be on Oh, Rules. Theo. Yeah. yeah. Not. He He's hysterical. Yeah, he's really funny. He's really funny. Yeah, he's really hilarious. He's I like saw, truly, truly funny. I yeah. saw a clip. The other day of him saying that little Dickie's stealing his material, <laughs> and then they sh and then they played the wooden shirt clip. Have you seen this? No, there's a lot of Theo. I mean, there's like a million Theo clips. He's not wrong. It's like clear, clearly oh my God. stolen. Wow. Yeah. Oh shit, clear Santino, as, you got to pick sides. Clear as day. Our friend Andrew Santino, who's a comic, is on Little Dickie's TV show. I know. Yes, they, this is they, and, uh, in the YouTube video. They yes, explain this. Yes. Yeah. So he's gonna have to fucking yep. choose. Yeah. Yeah. And Television Theo, or stand up? Figure Andrew. it out, bro. We've been letting you straddle both for too yeah. long. You're done. Pick a side, Hillary Clinton. Pick You're a done. side. Show us the fucking. Oh wait, not show your taxes. Where are the emails? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Build the wall. I show don't your, know. Show your taxes. Show Where are the emails? Show us your tits. Show us your laptop. Hunter Biden. Ugh. Hunter Biden is. What the is going on? He should be on. He honestly, should be in he should jail. Be. What? Hunter Biden what should is go to the jail? I, I he should be on Annie Wood, out. honestly. He'd be great on here. Dude. Chat yeah. Hanks. He, he's fucking nuts. Mm -hmm. Straight up. Smoking crack. Yeah, smoking crack, dick yeah. pics, the whole deal. Dick pics, crack, buying hookers flights and writing them off. <laughs> it's insane. It's insane. Uh, he's he's kind of the most epic Nepo baby of all time. Yeah, and still doing his thing. I don't know. I don't know. We I can't... don't follow him. I don't really know. What... You don't follow him on Instagram? I don't follow him. I, don't... No. I haven't gotten any DMs. I don't know what's up. This, I was actually, I'm kind of disappointed because one of my big uh, things I was looking forward to was going to be uh, Ron versus Don. 
um, mm-hmm. 2024, yeah, yeah. which is electric. Yeah. Uh, those two guys going, <laughs> Don calls him Meatball Ron, which is one of the funniest things I've ever heard. And then obviously Don's a moron. Yeah. So the, I was just waiting for that to come to a fucking head and it looks like it, we may not get it. Is the Kennedy going to be a thing? RFK is my guy. Is he going to be in it for I'll real? I'll say it right now. You think he's RFK in it? RFK is my guy you think he's in it for real um and i don't like him just because he was on the rogan podcast i've been right. i've been following rfk for like a year now you and knew him before joe rogan. i knew him before <laughs> rogan f- sucked him off uh but honestly that was a good interview because it did give him exposure only issue is rogan's got so many people that hate him just if you say the word yeah that it could potentially work against him also real tough voice yeah. yeah. I don't know if you guys have heard him. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> tough. But are people boy, worried sorry, about okay. things like that after Biden? I mean, it's like Biden's unable to string a sentence together. Do people care about voices anymore? Uh, I think I. So here's the thing. If he even fucks up once, I'm yeah. out because of the yeah. voice. <laughs> so it's like he's on a real thin ice. Um, I know. Can he get like a speech he's therapist get or a, something? There's Just get a little help. Be a surgery that can happen. He's married to Cheryl Hines, too. The, oh, oh, the actress, right? Yeah, the yeah. actress who I was meeting with a manager years ago, and he was like, I don't know how it came up, but he was like, yeah, my wife just love me for a Kennedy. And then I found out it was Cheryl Hines. Oh, How shit. How bad is that to be left for a Kennedy? With that voice. With that voice? <laughs> yeah, like, brutal. Yeah. He's kind of chill, though. Like, if you actually listen to him and you don't just read the hit pieces, right. and it's like, they're like, he's an anti-vaxxer. All his fucking kids are vaccinated. Yeah. So, like, you're not even, it's not even accurate. Yeah. None of this shit is accurate. He's anti-mandating an yeah. entire country to get a vaccine that's never been tested yeah if that makes an anti then i guess I like what the f- so they're just trying to f- them because he wants to ban pharmaceutical commercials in the u.s where only two nations awesome. in the entire world are allowed to have yeah. pharmaceutical commercials i know and so, it's also it's like what is the big fucking deal it's just the money 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 yeah those f- don't want to give it up though once yeah. they take it I know. And, and those commercials suck too those commercials they're are so annoying <laughs> they're the the Ozempic commercials, it's like, what the hell is this? Also, the Ozempic commercial should just be Mindy Kaling now. It shouldn't be anything else. That's it. It should just show you Mindy Kaling and be like, good day. Do you want this? Yeah. The best one ever was Pac Slovid. I will say there is a beautiful, gorgeous commercial right now about the which makes no sense for there to be a commercial right now. I mean, there isn't. It, it's the craziest thing I've ever seen. It doesn't exist anymore. Okay, so this. And- it doesn't work. Yes, it didn't work. Oh, I got sick as hell right after that. Yeah, I was like, insane. It never worked. I got sick the minute I got it. I was like, how did I get it worse than I've ever had it? But it's, it's yeah. so they have like the ball, like they just have it in their hand and it's, oh, it's yeah. like um, pink yeah. and. Oh, with and the little like spikes on it. Watts, yeah. 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 And they're like throwing it into like another frame and yeah. then like Michael Phelps is catching it. And the only thing I think of when I see this is like, how much money did they pay these people to do yeah. this? It had to have been so much money. Like Pink's on tour. She's like, let me pause my tour to do this. Really important. And then they pass it to like Reggie Watts and he's like, I'm overweight. So I need it. it. And you're like, Reggie Whoa. Watts, you <laughs> racist. Was it? Was it? it was, uh, what's his name? Questlove. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Reggie Watts. Wow. You were way off. Wow. Samsonite. Not that off. Listen, was there's off. only one of those people we could get on this podcast, and it is Reggie Watts, but maybe not after this. Yeah, definitely not now. <laughs> Do you know Reggie Watts? No. He's a he's a comedian who doesn't look like Questlove, like even a little bit. I was going to say, wild. I know Questlove, so. Let's just say, I think you could guess maybe the color of the pigmentation of his skin from what Todd thought, but he does um, musical comedy that's like really weird. He does these loops and stuff, but it's really, it's hilarious uh, genius like ship. uh the kid that plays the piano I forget his name Bo, i've seen Bo some sh- yeah, yeah bo burnham good. yeah i don't know sometimes kind of. i think he's good sometimes i think he sucks <laughs> uh, that's that well i remember do you remember seeing him when he was like really really young yeah. and first and started then doing he was it good. that was crazy i was yeah. like this little gay kid is amazing yeah. i was like this flaming homosexual <laughs> child and then he started doing other songs about not being gay and i was like that's so cute to like say you're not gay when you're gay and then uh, grown up is very straight it's wild when people just grow out of those little teen gay tendencies. <laughs> 
but he's he um yeah he makes some really cool stuff and then other stuff i'm like what the hell is that but i think that's cool to yeah. have your whole shit just like i guess that's what everyone's gonna have to do now anyway what, no, play the piano and well just tell everyone's jokes? gonna have to like show their shitty stuff too because of just there's like just you have to throw content out oh, now it's oh, not like got good it stuff. got it got it yeah do you follow comedy at all um yeah i mean i watch a lot of stand-up you do okay yeah, what do you watch on Netflix? My favorite. yeah sticks and stones is one of the funniest things yeah he's hilarious ever and he's so funny. i think that it's just, he's just a fucking absolute genius yeah and the mark twain award speech was outstanding as well he so is funny every time too he's every funny. time he's on stage pretty funny yeah it's like He's like, like smoking cigarettes. He's yeah. on mushrooms. He's like down like this. He's smacking the mic around. It's funny. Yeah. It's just five hours. It's like insane. He's next level. Yeah. I mean, I, I guess I don't know. Like, do you just watch stuff on Netflix? Uh, or or I mean, I'll go. Yeah. To shows we have. I used to work at a bar called Bishop's Lounge. Shut up, Bishop's Lounge. Uh, and they had comedy night, open mic comedy night on Sundays, and I was the bartender. Uh, and we had a real super loud ice machine. And so if someone told a joke and it sucked, you just hear the fucking ice machine. <laughs> and that was like brutal. And yeah. I watched people bomb yes, in that of room. Course. Yeah. Like so bad. Yeah. Their jokes were so not funny. Yeah. I couldn't believe that they would have thought this was gonna be something that someone yeah. would make someone laugh. Yeah. <laughs> it's so far away yeah. from that. What do you what is that like as a comedian to watch someone? do shit that's like very obviously not funny oh i saw when i used to do open mics back in new york when i first started there were comics that never got a lot like i there was one time where i went on stage and i went i actually want to applaud you guys because you are you're the bravest people i've ever like you've never gotten like yeah because in the beginning you do all suck like there's a few people that are like kind of good in the beginning um i don't know <laughs> but um but no but there you know you really have to like work hard at it but you get a laugh and then you go okay i'm chasing that that's what i want Oh, I see what I did there. These people got not one laugh and it right. would be like, they're probably still in New York doing open mics. It's weird because there's industries like this that happen. It's like, I personally think they're, to, I'd, so they're either some of my favorite people or some of my least favorite people of all time. It's like chefs, comedians, uh, boat captains. All people that do Fuck coke. Them. Love that. Yeah. Oh, they're they're yeah. trash. The musicians. Yeah. Like a bad musician, nothing worse than a bad musician that thinks they're good. Yeah. You suck. Yeah. Your music sucks. Yeah. And it's not like no one nobody likes to it. Hear it. No one likes it. I walked into You're just a, up there sucking. I was doing a show in New York in the basement of like a rock club and there was an R&B singer. Who sucked? I, yes, upstairs, and there were three people watching, and it was. I was like, "Oh, nothing I've gone through is as hard as this." Right, it's Sweating brutal. Sweating on there, just not hitting the notes, and just three like loyal family members. Mm -hmm. And I went, "Ooh, I got to be grateful for what I do." Yeah, I got to always chefs be grateful. are like that too. A bad chef that thinks they're good, trash. Yeah, that sucks. So many of them, giant ego. I'm like, how? In what delusional world are you living in? where you should have a big ego. Yeah. This sucks. But they got a job, right? So maybe that's where the ego comes from, right? I, I don't know. A I mean, maybe. Have you ever dated a girl that thinks she's a good chef? I have you ever dated a girl? Dated a girl. <laughs> yes. Have you fucked boyed your whole life? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no. I've, I've had, I had a five year. Okay. Yeah. Won the challenge. Got my phone back. Got dumped. Oh. Yeah. Same day. Oh, life's, really? During this one when you life's won? Life's great balancing act. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so you've been in a relationship because I always kind of thought you had a little a little crush on Tori, but that's wrong. No. Me and you Tori. You guys don't have a little crush on each other at all? We don't. You're not like the Ross and Rachel? So, no. <laughs> There's he, no end where you guys, you know too much, she farts in front of you. They put it in the, they put it in the edit. Here's the thing. We peed in the same toilet once at the same time <laughs> uh i was peeing and she came over and she was like i'm doing it <laughs> i was like please don't do it she was like i'm doing it <laughs> and uh we were on we were it yeah, was a long obviously, yeah. situation uh and it we didn't we didn't blend yeah it wasn't the right <laughs> yeah nope, didn't you, work just to try out and that's golden as shower close as first we, <laughs> that's as close as we've ever gotten yeah and we both looked at each other and said nope that's not it. That's yeah. not right. I guess that's yeah. true. That's kind of how my friend, uh, I mean, this is my boyfriend. I don't know if you figured that out. 
But um. Oh, this is your boyfriend. Yes. Did you not know that? <laughs> no. Oh, sorry. Yes. This is my boyfriend, Todd. I parade him around. Todd Walker. Yeah. Oh, that's my God. man. I can't tell if you guys are fucking with me or not. No, no, no. This oh, is yeah. my, li we live together. We have a dog. <laughs> yeah. All right. Got it. There's got an it. engagement ring floating right. in his All thing right. somewhere. Got it. Yeah. Got it. Got it. Got it. Um, Wait, is that part you're fucking with me or not? What, the engagement you're ring? You're engaged? No, we're like pre-engaged. Yeah. He's talked about it. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, we paid for it. We together paid for a ring. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? This is next level 2023. Yeah. You guys duly bought a ring? Yeah, well, That's it's like- fire. How long, our, my parents are old, you know? So it's yeah. like, let's get this going. I didn't want to wait for him to save up his money. Got it. You know? So you gotta... <laughs> what's, what's the rule on that? Well- Here's what I, the rent, the diamonds are from our parents. So it's like he who got them from a mine in right. Congo or are they conflict free <laughs> well, or how definitely that not conflict free okay. because they're old. So I mean, it was probably really right. conflicted Just back then. Sure. We did his mom for a while. We didn't know we had these, these jewels. So his mom for a while, his mom is, uh, is, uh, how do I Lay say ocean. a cheap Laotian? <laughs> She's very like, doesn't want people spending money. Unless it's on her, she does enjoy an, an expensive gift. But you guys she stole us... your parents' diamonds and made a basically, new ring out of it. Basically, yes. basically. So she wanted us to get. <laughs> this is. Fucked. She was making me watch Blood Diamond and stuff because she wanted me to get a fake. She wanted me to get like a store made uh, lab grown. Right. And she was like starting to store made. <laughs> it is. It's like, I want blood on it. I'm a sorry. Store made diamond. I'm like, I want Leonardo DiCaprio dying over this <laughs> ring. <laughs> but uh, then my mom found some ring of my great aunts, and that's how it all got together. The old great aunt's <laughs> ring. The tale as old the as rule. time. I can tell you Saved one place ass, though, that, you. that ring definitely did not come from, <laughs> and it's your great aunt. Zero percent chance. Where do you think it came from? No shot. Don't know, but it wasn't your great aunt. My, no mom, my mom just stole it from someone. <laughs> she got it from somewhere. Doesn't want to tell you. <laughs> They're old. They're just oh, like, yeah, get got fucking engaged. Great on. She did just mir miraculously find it. Yeah, I know. <laughs> she was just like I'm all aware. of a sudden like. It's funny for me that it's just dawning on you now. <laughs> <laughs> you seem pretty with it. And I'm surprised this one snuck by the goalkeeper here. <laughs> Unreal. Yeah, you know, at this point, I'm just happy I got a ring. <laughs> You know, like, well, yeah, well, I don't have it yet. I don't have it yet. Yeah. Yeah. The true. rule is what? It's supposed to be like a year's salary. That's insane. Is that the rule? Yeah, for like the ring? I don't think so. Is it supposed no. to be a year's salary? So for me I this think. year, it would have to be <laughs> yeah. a real fucking yeah. expensive ring, baby. Oh no my one's God. getting that goddamn well, ring. Maybe six months. I don't know. It's something like that. I could look it up. I think it's three months. Is that a year's salary? That's crazy. That People would be crazy. like bankrupt. <laughs> well, they do get bankrupt. You don't want my year's salary. That'd be a big old They rock. go bankrupt and then they get divorced and then they lose half the shit they didn't have. Yes. Yeah, and then, yeah, what fuck. does happen? What is the, the, our, it's both of our parents' jewelry. So we'd have to break it back up. You have to cut <laughs> it in we half. Up, yeah. yeah. Like, all right. You can have this. And yeah. Yeah. You're going to have to pass it down the line. It says at least two months salary. All right. That would be not, so. I, that would be a cute ring, I guess. With your salary now. It'd be cute. Okay, all right. It'd be okay. Two. My salary would be banging. <laughs> Two months. Yeah. Yeah. His his salary is okay, right now. Yeah. If we included in, if I was paying you for this too. I don't yeah. know how to even go about breaking up in months. You'd have to do it annually and divide, right? Thinking about that. Though. Yeah. That's why you just well, get wait, an heirloom. I don't know I if can't I've do the liked math. anyone ever enough yeah. <laughs> to give them two months. This is the only person I've life. ever wanted to marry. I've never yeah. dated anyone I wanted to marry. I've always been like, get away from me. It's really weird. I did a podcast where this girl was like asking me about my past relationships and stuff. And she was, she was like, what are red flags for you? I'm like, I just dated guys with the, that I didn't like. I just, yeah. I don't know why. I just didn't want to get out. But you didn't want to marry the five-year girl? Uh, I. Didn't at the time. I don't now either. So yeah, no, I didn't. Yeah. Um, but it wasn't that I didn't want to marry her. You it was that I married. didn't want to get yeah. married. Do you think you ever want to get married? Potentially. Yeah. But I definitely don't want to get married to someone that wants to get married super bad. Right. Yeah, you don't want it to and be like And she wasn't the like that. I'm not talking shit. She, yeah. That was not her. She wasn't. That wasn't her vibe. Um, but I think she did. Like, I also refused to even have engage in a conversation about living together. Yeah. I'm like, nope, not happening. 
I've made that mistake. I've lived with a lot of people. I've never lived with anybody. Yeah, I think that's good. Um, mm -hmm. Because when you break up with someone you live with, it is such a fucked up situation. Super fucked. You're divorcing, basically. Mm -hmm. And then you're like, who gets the apartment? And then I had a boyfriend who I lived with. And I was like, all right, I'll move to New York for a little while. Sublet this place. Because it was basically mine. Like, I found it and was living there before him. And then he just squatted in it. He, like, kept the just apartment. Wouldn't, wouldn't I was leave. like, I couldn't get rid of him. I was like, all right, I guess it's your apartment now. You can have it. Damn. Yeah, that's a big, that's something that people do in New York. They just squat. I know. <laughs> Not leaving. There was a, Not I was fucking a, leaving. I was a waitress. I waited on this guy who, yeah, he was completely squatting in his apartment. A lot of jobs. What? You've had a lot of jobs. I have had a lot of jobs. Well, I was, well that was, like, things I did while I was doing open mics and stuff. Got it. But the go-go dancing was the weirdest one. I was just drunk in Santa Fe. There weren't that many people. Just you and like the, the three people from the R&B concert. It basically was, yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then randomly, uh, Coral. And Coral. They did ask me, though, the next Never met Coral. I was hanging out with people. I didn't either. I don't remember meeting her. It seems awesome. But Coral was ripe. She was in it. Coral was like the original hot. Bitch. challenger she was like a bitch so i don't know about that <laughs> okay he won't say it i can't say that i've taken too many sensitivity trainings that's right okay she was my i know the fucking script when they give me one yeah and i can't say that i'm tired because i had a really rough week at the hamptons and my throat is scratchy and i think it's gonna be hard for me to perform so I want to get my throat checked out. How do I do that? Oh, Todd, when you get a doctor, what do you do? Go try to find health insurance because you don't have it I got to make phone calls. I got to figure stuff out. I got to go on the line and go, okay, okay where's a doctor? Where's, where's the best uh, physician that I could find in my, in my local area? Uh, I'm sa look, I'm putting in throat, sore throat, and I'm putting my zip code, and I want it tomorrow. I want it. I put I put Friday. Oh, for Christ's sake. Tomorrow is Friday. Tomorrow's not Friday. Yes, Tomorrow's it is. Friday. It's Thursday, you ding dong. It's Doc Doc Day. <laughs> I, my health insurance is in here. I click it. Look at all of these options. They tell me how many miles away they are, when they have appointments. All of these appointments, their wow. ratings. Look at that. That's wow. how easy it is. I could schedule an appointment tomorrow. They have six appointments. Tomorrow. Wow. Finding the right doctor for you is basically as, ama as amazing as finding the love of your life. Oh. When, oh. Do you know what that feels like? <laughs> Tell me when you do that. <laughs> <laughs> Until you realize they don't take your insurance. <laughs> uh, Todd, I don't take your insurance because you have no insurance. <laughs> <laughs> well, stop searching all alone and try ZocDoc. It's a free app where you can not only find a doctor, but book an appointment with them online. You saw how fast it was. I just did it like that. It's the click of a button. It's the tap of a, an app. You tap the app. You Zoc the doc. See what I'm saying? And it's free. It's free. Okay? You do it all online. It filters your results for doctors who live nearby you, take your insurance, and treat almost any condition under the sun. Even under the sun. Skin cancer. They'll check. They'll screen you for it. You got some moles? They got mole doctors. That's amazing. It's incredible. So stop Googling your symptoms, okay, you psychopaths. Stop watching TikToks, okay? Those doctors, they, they can't see what, what, whether it's an ingrown hair or not. You need to go to an actual doctor. And stop asking your friends in the group chat to look at your rash. ZocDoc has thousands of top-rated patient-reviewed doctors and specialists you can trust. The average wait time to see a doctor on ZocDoc is between 24, 24 to 48, 48. Wow, hours. that's amazing. And you saw it here today, guys. I just showed it to you. And you could even score same-day appointments? Same-day appointments. I mean, this thing is just amazing. It's free, too, you guys. So it's like, just download it, support the show, support your own health, your immunity, support your, your body. Support the love of your life. Support the love of your life, which is what I do <laughs> financially <laughs> and with my health insurance. Go to ZocDoc.com slash Annie and download the ZocDoc app for free. Then find and book a top-rated doctor today. That's ZocDoc.com slash Annie. Guys. If you love the show and you love yourself and you love your body, 
which is what we expect from our woodies. You download ZocDoc right now. You use that code Annie and you make us all look good. What do you say about people feisty? <laughs> I don't say shit. That's the whole point. I shut right the fuck up now. Everyone's getting what they wanted. And zip the lips, Devin. I know. You well, we did. A, we did. We don't want to have to see like a message after each no. episode about you. No, we don't. As we did. <laughs> Wes almost had someone that that listened to him, and then she got herself kicked off of MTV. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, D. <laughs> Yeah, D almost had someone that was <laughs> He almost had a disciple. <laughs> I'm one of Wes's disciples. Wes I'll is say the, that. Wes, Wes, Wes the taught man. me the ropes. Well, I was just like, Wes, you just no one trusts you. It's like he could he could get he could get there. It's just no one everybody <laughs> sees knows him. I've said this. Well, the, what's remarkable is that he still continues to win. Yes. Yeah. That's what's fucking yes, truly he's remarkable. Very... It's like he is one of the best ever and no one wants to work with yeah him, yeah which means you're so <laughs> yes good. yeah the thing is with Wes though and this was true with me as well until i distanced myself from this reputation was even if we were to offer a good deal a clean deal that's even in your favor no one believes you because it's coming from us yeah they'd rather take a yeah. shitty deal from bananas yeah and get over, yes. Then take a good deal yeah. from me, or what? and I'm like, you. Yeah, but Anders would be like, I'm definitely gonna vote you out. But yeah. yeah, it's like, so you know, thanks, guys. I realize that like it's just you two, and you're looking for a third. I would prefer to be in the nine slot over here, bottom of the totem pole. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah, like, yeah. you moron. Yeah, but he, I know. But even just the risk of uh, being uh, over by so stupid. Yeah, that's yeah. what it is. Is that. If you get fucked over by me or Wes, you should have seen it coming in their minds. Right. So they get like but Johnny's hyper. Not, he's got something about he's him. He's got it's, a charisma. He's got a different. Johnny you makes you feel them. like an idiot for not listening to what he says. <laughs> he has this weird ability to manipulate people yeah. into feeling like total morons yeah. if they don't do everything that he yeah. says. And it's like, and I don't know how he still does it, but he's really, he truly is able to do it. Him just dragging people by the arm over the finish line too is so funny. He'll just like drag a bitch up a mountain. <laughs> kid is, kid is next level. He doesn't give any encouraging, like CT's like, you can do it. You're a good runner. Yeah. He's just like, get up here. Yeah. No, it's he's, awesome. he's an interesting teammate. That's for sure. His Watch. dad's really into the challenge. And it's always, we were always talking about, like, you can either, uh, when you're doing, you can either CT someone or you can Johnny Bananas them. <laughs> yeah. So who's your, who's your, so you guys have watched the show. Mm -hmm. Go top five, dead or alive, male side. Oh, okay. You don't have to, you don't have to agree with each <laughs> other, but you got to go top five, dead or alive. Like what? Like okay. best My ever. My boys I have here, which is going to, oh, go. in order. Go. I'm not in this, by CT. the way. I don't expect to be in this. <laughs> CT. No, your sh antics are fucking beautiful. No, but I'm talking about best, not the. Okay, CT. Yeah. The... Johnny. Okay. Um, Wes. Um, Jordan. Jordan. Is but the... I don't want to do it. In, I don't want to do an order. No, I don't you have, have to, to do it in order. That's the <laughs> whole point. I don't want to have to do it. <laughs> no, Wes... that's the point. Jordan has one hand, guys. I'm sorry. I, I will say, Wes... uh, Devin, I did love that um, that that season where. Uh, you were like kind of at the bottom and you're like, I got to shake this up somehow. And you're like, I see Fessy as like a ball of insecurity. And I know if I poke at him, yeah. he'll he'll draw all the attention to him. And it worked. And he got yeah. like, he's the one that got thrown. I in. am endlessly entertained by Fessy. Was, I know. You guys aren't Fessy. dodging this though. I need your top five in order. Don't try to dodge it with CT, compliments. CT, CT. Appreciate it. It's in the one seed unanimously. Yeah. I agree. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, CT. fine. Who's in the two? I would say Jordan too, right? Yeah, Jordan has one fucking hand. Okay, when he'd be, That's I mean, I don't know it was bad. Josh, but when he'd be them in the, in the war. <laughs> oh, you guys yeah. putting Jordan in the two? Yeah, I think and so. And he broke his knee on the, he got dropped out of the plane. <laughs> it's got to be unanimous. <laughs> one. I'm giving yeah, Jordan, yeah. yes. I agree. I think Jordan's yes, in the Jordan's two. Jordan's number yeah. two. All right, who's your three? Johnny. Okay, I agree. Yeah, I also banana, agree with that. Yeah. I've And I've gone who's on record. Fourth? You guys can cross-reference me. Listeners, you can cross-reference this. <laughs> okay, who's This fourth? is where it gets tricky. Yeah. For who's me, four? this is where it gets tricky. 
And I know the two. Can I make Casey a guy? I, <laughs> Casey. I, I know the two that there that should be in this list, and I personally think they're interchangeable. Okay. But I don't know if you guys are going to get there or not. All right. Um, Let's think here. Uh, I think Wes has to be my five. I don't know. I'm. I, think quick. No dead air. Yeah, Wes. He's pretty. He's one of the two I'm thinking. With, yeah. Because with he's his, one of the two what I'm you were of. saying too. Yeah, like, we could give Wes four. Can we call right? Tori Dave and put her in? <laughs> <laughs> I love Tori. I'm a Tori. All right, fan. fine. I'll tell you guys. For me, it's yeah. Darrell. Oh, Darrell. Okay, I totally yeah, yeah. forgot. For Durrell. me, it's Darrell. He's he got, stays out of the drama. He, won he four wins straight. all the time. He yes. won the most yeah, ever in a row. Yes. Would have won probably yes. five straight if he didn't bounce Brad's head off the right. carpet. Um, so Brad really hasn't been the same. <laughs> but, yeah, but the reason I lean Wes is because he's done more recently. Right. So I yeah. probably go CT, Jordan, Bananas, Wes, Darrell. The way Darrell does not get into the drama is wild. Yeah, well, when you can beat the f*** out of yeah. anybody, you don't really need to flex. <laughs> yes. Who was the one that carried Wes up the mountain? That was Kenny. Kenny. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The and name, Wes was the shitting name on him the whole time. we shall not speak of. <laughs> yeah, you can't, yeah, you can't talk about him. There was a toothbrush. No, there was a toothbrush incident. <laughs> there was, do you know about the toothbrush? Yeah. The name um, we shall not we can't. speak of. I'm There's feeling, a lot of those. We're starting, yeah. starting to run out. And you, those yeah. are pretty good ones too. Like in the range of like what you learn to not do. Yeah. In yeah. those uh, sensitivity trainings. What about Emily? Was one of those too, right? Oh, Emily. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, it's crazy how we love like, Emily. Emily. Emily Schramm. Yeah. I've never met her. <laughs> but you remember the I don't pudding? Know what, I don't know what she when did. When she put chocolate pudding on. No, she put chocolate pudding on her she face did and was like, "Yo, yo, yo, oh, yo, yo, fuck. yo, yeah." Oh, is that why she's not allowed to come back? I think they let her back once. It was they like let her back like twice, and then she's they were so like, sweet. Okay. I follow her on Instagram. She's like this. She just like writes poetry. Like it was like a sad thing that ha- it was like. Oh, oh my she god, didn't know. she did with pudding. It was with Camilla, kind of like pressured her. I feel like she was like the mind. They the, should do a the canceled ringer. season. A canceled oh, season. that would be actually. Emily, she'd be the only like nice little. <laughs> that would be. And wild there's definitely enough of them there's enough of them and this was the other thing i don't understand the vetting process is extreme yeah yet these people still slip through the yeah. cracks over and over yes. and over and over again well people probably it's like there's cameras like, on you guys the whole time right well yeah but how hard is it to not be super fucked up yeah <laughs> like it's not that Hard. I think she really like learned what blackface was in the moment. In, though. In like, I think moment, she literally like yeah. had no clue that. I mean, the rules. Which obviously that's so the horrible, rules but... have changed for sure. Societal rules yeah. have changed. Yeah. So retroactively going back to punish people is, you know, has everyone has their own opinion on that. But uh, it certainly now there's no excuse. Right. You're fucking. Yeah, you know now. Yes, yeah. of course. I'm telling you guys, the amount of sensitivity trainings yeah. is egregious. And now is Tony out? Tony's not allowed back in now? I think Tony's in. Is Tony still in? I don't think he's out okay. for any reason. He just has kids, right? Yeah, I think he's got kids. I think he like. Which pretty much makes you out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ipso facto. Thanks, yeah. kids. Yeah. Hope you really like them because. You know, Jenna and Zach, I follow them. That's I follow why their I don't lives. work with people that have children in the game. Because they're like, they're going to. I've been on record saying this several yeah. times. I'll do it if I have to. Yeah. But I prefer not to. Yeah. Because at any point in time, they're going to have the ultimate built in excuse you can't argue. Yeah. I did it for my yeah. kid. Yeah. Okay. Well, what does that do for me? Yeah. Nothing. And now I can't even talk shit to you because if I do, then I'm I hate children. Yeah, and I'm this talking shit on someone's father. This is absolute bullshit. I um, who? Okay, so who is like Fuckers. the most famous person that is a fan of the show that you have encountered? Like in person or on internet? Maybe on the internet is okay. Giannis, uh, Intanin Pinopo, wow, I really? think. Ankunpo. <laughs> don't know how to say his name, but he's a huge fan. Yeah. Wow, that's awesome. Um. I, don't I thought know he was going to say Giannis necessarily... Papas. I was like, <laughs> no, I don't know if he's necessarily. I was like, he's great. He's a my fan friend. of mine, but he did. He he sent me a package of his new business oh, candy cool. thing. Wow. Yeah, and I got in a sweatshirt, so that was That's cool. Fun. He was pretty cool. 
Rihanna's a fan. That's fun. Yeah. I don't, again, I'm not sure, so sure she's a fan of mine, but yeah. <laughs> she's a fan of the show. Drake watches. He follows some people wow. from the show. We love Drake. We like yeah. Drake playing his roulette. <laughs> yeah. We like to gamble. Champagne poppy. I'm a big gambler. Yeah, gambling's big so fun. gambler. Yeah. Are you going to take some of that money? Maybe that's what you'll do in six months. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's why I put it yeah. where I put it. Yes. Yeah. And I, because it'll be... For Gone. my birthday, I'm. Uh, I have a twin brother, so we're all going to Vegas. And uh, identical, or well, our penises are different. But um, got it. Okay. We uh, fraternal. <laughs> Under you fucking idiot. <laughs> um. Unders oh, I didn't know we had a, a dumb dumb over here. That's a joke, obviously. Yeah, it's no, obviously, I wouldn't <laughs> yeah. call you dumb on my Hello. podcast. I do it on the next obviously. episode when you're gone. Yeah, um, yeah, don't do it while I'm here. Fuck. So we're going to Vegas, and I'm doing a show the night before, just to, and all proceeds go directly back into Vegas. Yeah. So go I'm to like, that I show. Don't, yeah, go to the show, baby. Or yeah. doubles in Vegas. What's the date? Not directly. July twentieth. Come on out, guys. July twentieth. It's going to be very fun. Yeah, I'll be in it's Thailand. It's going to be a blast. I'll be in Phuket. Did you go to Thailand a lot or is this your first time? First time. Well, never that's been. not true. It's the first time in a while. Are you going to? I don't go all the time. Are you going to? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't even know. I mean. I lady was, boy. Yeah. Have sex with lady I, boys. I, I know. I had a feeling. I knew what you meant. <laughs> Now, I uh, want to talk, let's talk OnlyFans for a second. Let's see if we can get you some fans. Yeah, I'll probably get me some um, fans. All right, so were you the first of the group to start at OnlyFans? I think so. Because Jordan said you're the one that inspired him. Yeah, I think so. I think I was, I was definitely the first of the group that's currently in the mix. Yeah. Um, and I forget exactly what it was that, that catapulted me. Um, it might have been Kayla. Might have been Kayla uh yeah. from Sam and Kayla. Yeah. Because I've had about seven different failed podcasts. Yeah. And uh in one of them I was talking to Kayla and she was like explaining her only. Wait, fans. is Sam her husband? Who's They're Sam? Married. Okay. Sam but Bird. Sam, okay. Love Sam Bird. He's awesome. Kayla's but he awesome just came too. in. Kayla's the one that I think of her as Kayla and Bear. Kayla's the one that hooked up with Bear, right? Oh, when oh. Bear wore her down, it was so sad. Watching that happen when you're like, oh no. Dude, watch Bear went off the deep end. Bear went off the deep end and we watched the lives. Let me tell you that. Dude, here's the thing. The kids sprayed everyone with a fire extinguisher in a bunker. <laughs> Red flag much? Like, where you are we? You might want to check people for borderline personality <laughs> disorder before they come on the show. What is the threshold <laughs> of not, like, it's, uh, I, it's like. There was a documentary, too, that came out, right? Because It was of like Georgia, Georgia versus Bear. Yeah. Oh, I, I don't know if it a was clip. a documentary, but it was a I, I think court it was, case. Yeah. Oh, it was definitely yeah. a court case. Yeah, for I sure. saw a clip and it was actually so crazy. She was like, going to court and he tweeted hey guys what suit should i wear a pink one or a purple one <laughs> <laughs> and people are like what the fuck well he's wearing an orange one now <laughs> and he's gonna be for quite some time so <laughs> congratulations bear you fucking jackass oh my god and kayla and sam got voted off first on that last season that was sad i wanted to see more against us you guys they put you in the first oh and you won good job and then do you guys have to now pay everyone now is that always going to happen now no like no the one's friendship gonna, payouts the, the the oprah winfrey of we gotta stop $1. doing that we gotta stop doing that that was tori right that was dave right no, that was yeah. me and her it was both of us i don't here's the thing like and i truly firmly believe this and this actually ties into only fans yes which i'm not trying to dodge we just got off, oh no whatever. off track whatever you want to dodge you can dodge uh, so. I've never had an attachment to money. I like having it. Right. I've had none. I've had some. I prefer to have some. Right. But I refuse to let it have a stranglehold on me, mm -hmm. which makes me really dangerous. Right. Because you can't. You're not bribable. I'm not bribable. Yeah. 
you unlock. I mean, everyone's probably. Yeah. <laughs> if, if, it, yeah. yeah if it makes, if it really makes sense, yeah. then yeah. I bri- don't have an OnlyFans. That's how unbribable I am. <laughs> oh, that yeah. I've been asked to have an OnlyFans every day of my life. That's since actually it came out. super dumb. It's actually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You were calling me dumb. <laughs> Your ass is an OnlyFans. How do I do it, though? Yeah. How do I do it's it? It's pretty just... fucking easy. Oh. Uh, it's not it's not super hard. You just take the the photos you already have in your phone, and then you make people pay for them. Mm. And they yeah. enjoy doing it. Mm. They love it. They makes their day. Do people I finally tell me, get an OnlyFans? Dude, people tell me all the time. They're like, and I'm not, nothing's crazy. People do them fully non-nude. But you do nudes. Oh, I'm hammered. Yeah, what do you do? No, I'm just kidding. No, what do you I'm do? Just I'm just kidding. I'm just, you do I'm just something. Kidding, I know kidding. you do something. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. You do something. I'm just kidding. You guys have to subscribe it's to been a little, Yeah, you'd have to yeah. subscribe to find out. Thirty nine ninety nine a month. Is that really how much yours is? Yeah, best, best 40 bucks you'll ever spend. Are you that's inserting? Just to get, is there insertion? That's just to get in the door. Do you put stuff in the doors? No. I don't even do whole content. Whole con. Oh. Yeah. I thought you meant like as a whole. No, no, no. <laughs> no I meant butthole. Yeah. Pee hole? Yeah. No, I don't do pee or butthole content. If you and Tori posted the or video of you guys I do no whole content. If you guys were peeing oh, in the toilet the together, but who would, you would just split it halfway? Who would put it on that? Who has more at this point? Uh, Tori's definitely yeah, got more. Obviously, yeah, obviously. Tori's definitely got more. I want to uh, join her OnlyFans. Yeah. I don't want to be it there. It turns out chicks don't really want to pay for nudes of like 34 year old dudes with a dad bod. They're but it not, is nude? They're not super so into it that. it is nude. Oh okay. yeah, you, you have never seen any of the images of me? I, I have don't... an absolute fucking cannon ass. The thing's all <laughs> over the place on there. Yeah. I've seen you in Speedos. I've seen a lot of Speedos. Yeah, but again, no whole content. So You're fun. better than even expected. And I don't mean that like I expected you not to be good, but you're very good in person. Thanks. Appreciate that. You're awesome. That. You're cool as hell. Yeah, I'll take that. I'm not ending the episode, but I'll take I just, that to the bank. I was having a I was having a moment. <laughs> That's chill. Yeah, I like to be as advertised, but yeah, you're cool. If you exceed that, then that's cool yeah. too, you know? No, I like um I like your guys' little crew. I like um Tori, I like Anissa. Our crew is chill. Yeah. And then so yeah. are you guys never it's always gonna be undefeatable? You can't break oh, this we're crew. Super defeatable. No, 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 but I mean, no, but so you know what I mean? Like, like, it's unpenetrable. Real fragile crew, actually. <laughs> to be fair, if, if people had half a brain, they could fucking <laughs> to, to divide and conquer well, we, real you, quick. We were talking today about when you had to, like, pull Tori aside and be like, you can't, like, go against me for the, for, what was it, Emmanuel? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the thing was, if Emmanuel hadn't been hooking up with, um, what's her name earlier? Michelle. Michelle. Like, yeah. Poor Michelle. Oh my God. Dude, that's we're, literally like a worst case scenario. As I'm a girl. telling you guys. That I is know. like one of the most. It's so bizarre. It's so embarrassing. It's so bizarre. They're like crying. He's like, I love you. <laughs> it's just so bizarre. That thing does that, those houses do that to you. But if only people know and like they'll, they'll, I mean, There'll be clips. They can fucking figure it out. Saying it's clear as day. We're so fragile. Yeah. And everyone, everyone's alliance is so fragile. Yeah. So if you paid attention, even the fucking smallest amount, there's certain pieces of it that are strong. Right. But there's so many all, and this is across the board in the entire game all the time. Mm -hmm. There's always fractal connections that hinge on other connections Mm -hmm. so like it would take a while but you could systematically (laughs) delete any alliance i'm wondering over over time is this for sure a disciple of west coming on a podcast saying this to get in the heads of people to think (laughs) that they're not an unpenetrable (laughs) because at this point dave seems pretty tight Oh, the Daves are good. And I don't know what. No, we've got an unbreakable bond. We won it. We won our first challenge together. You don't she, think she could get digmatized one more time, though? Um, she's digmatizable. So here's here's the thing. I, I really Tori I really. Tori loves hard. Uh, yeah. You know, and but I don't I don't see ever a situation where I would, if it really meant that much, 
one of us, if we knew that it meant had the other one having a better chance, yeah. I don't you think would sacrifice. I wouldn't even stand in the way because right. I'd be like, all right, like I'm good. I'm thankful for her. So like, I don't, yeah. and I'm not a selfish person. So if it came down to it, you have to win that show. If we're not on the same team and she chooses somebody over me, right? that's understandable to me. Mm -hmm. Where these people fuck up is that they think that forever now, this person is going to put you above themselves. Right. And it's Which like, weirdly Jordan has gotten from Tori. I don't know yeah. how he finagled that. Yeah. <laughs> like if, He's a if, my ex, if my ex fiance is on something, I'm like, vote him out. Are you fucking <laughs> this guy? Yeah. He's engaged to him. Get him out of here. Yeah, he's a finesser. He's he good is. at it, man. He's real good at it. Oh Jordan's interesting. God. He's 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 I mean, he's number two all time. We did it. We did we yes. we talked about it. I feel very good about the list. Yeah. Because I was sweating a little bit. I was like, oh, so God. you guys you, like, you guys went Darrell West, right? You said Wes is in the five? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah. so you went Darrell West yeah. and I went West Darrell. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I went out I think with Darrell went... last night. Oh, did you? Yeah, shout tell out, me. Shout out Boa. Yes. Was it fun? That place is awesome. Have we been there? If you haven't, you should go because it's awesome. I don't drink, so. Wait, that's, yeah, that's right by where we used to live. Right? Oh, it yeah. was by, like, the Grove and, uh. It's right by the London. It's right by, uh, the London. Viper Room. Okay, yeah. Oh, the it's, Viper like, just up oh, the yeah. street on the left. Else. Viper Room, R.I.P. Allegedly, uh, <laughs> I heard some things, different things last night. What'd you hear? I don't know. I might be in the fucking, I might be on you the ground floor. Some LA gossip. Someone bought it? People are saying it might stay. You guys, if you don't remember the Viper Room, it's killed some of our favorite people. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's killed some of America's yeah. favorite stars. R.I.P. Um, Viper Room, maybe. Now, okay, if you could, have Allegedly. you ever been able to use your challenge fame to get stuff? Like? Into concerts or anything? Oh, I thought you were talking about like chicks or something. <laughs> like, well, uh, no, of duh. course, yeah, no, of course. <laughs> of course. I mean, <laughs> It's kind of the whole the point. number one reason. Yeah, let's <laughs> like, just say the list of five is getting pussy, getting pussy, yeah. getting pussy, getting pussy, getting pussy. Getting pussy. Come on, dude. Uh, in the concerts, have I ever been into a concert uh, because of the challenge? Probably, yeah. Well, you want to know what was cool? Is I was in Boston and I was walking down the street and I passed this bar, happened to be a gentleman's club. Uh, and this like giant guy came up to me. Was like, hey, I follow your OnlyFans. Yeah, hey, yeah. He's like, you got a great ass. You want to get on stage? No, he was like, hey, a big fan. You coming in tonight? And I was like, alone in the yeah. city, you know, as I do because I go to a lot of sporting events and then I just like go yeah. bomb around. And I love a strip club. Yeah, hadn't been to this one. And I was like, all right, fuck it, I'll come in. And like, I went in there, and it was awesome. Yeah. Did you get you got like royal treatment? I got royal treatment at the strip club. <laughs> Now, and it was fucking lit. Are you a Celtics fan? Yeah, big time. All right, my brother is the Celtics Twitter guy. Your my identical. Twin brother. Yes, my identical twin brother, twin Max Letterman. You should brother. follow him. He's a Twitter guy. He's the Twitter guy for the Celtics. Mm -hmm. Well, tell him. He works at NBC. Uh, tell him to tell sports. Brad Stevens that Joe Missoula is a idiot. Okay? You hear that, Max? You hear that, Max? You hear that, Joe? Should I tweet We're that? We're fucking sick of it. <laughs> We're sick of all your shit. Call a goddamn timeout next time. Tatum, Brown, betas, beta boys. Stop it. Fucking inexcusable. I'm done. No, keep going. I don't care. Moving on. Robert my brother Williams, will finally watch your fucking chill. show. Robert Williams is chill. Marcus Smart got traded, huh? That's a sad yeah, trade. Yeah, I mean, fine. Deuces, Marcus. <laughs> The ultimate no, 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 yes, 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 man. It's like, fuck, he's shooting again. Oh, it went in this time. And then it's also like, fuck, he's going to shoot seven more times. This is my whole childhood. Just me watching my brothers talk about sports yeah. and going. Yeah, I don't know. I'm Do you guys want to draw? Big sports guy. You want to Do you guys paint? have any yeah. colored pencils? You want to draw a picture? I actually have colored pencils in my backpack. Do you draw? Yes. Oh, really? Cool. What yeah. do you draw? I, well, I mainly I paint. Oh, you paint? Oh. Yeah, but I brought my oh my, my god, ladies, my CPs. Uh, the pussy. Give the give it to mm -hmm. him. <laughs> this is a pussy. These things you don't find out. Now, okay, so you get challenged pussy, obviously, um, which is chill. Yeah, that's got to be for the great. record. But they're all are they older? Yeah, I was gonna say, what are the fans like? A little bit older, right? They're like at least usually fifty six or so. <laughs> <laughs> I do have to say this. I was thinking about this today. Like Mark Long had 
before they started doing the All Stars, Mark Long had like a Instagram that was like begging for them to start to bring the OGs back, and they fucking did it. They listened to him. That's like the most loyal shit on television. Do you know that I was there for the conception of that idea? I don't. Um, yeah. Tell. So me, Mark Long, your mm. girl, uh, Creamsicle Robbins. <laughs> uh, and- I follow her. I want to do her workouts. I'm like- <laughs> Dude, Rachel's awesome. You'd love yeah, her. She's, she's cool super fun. Um, and who else was it? I believe it was Davon. Uh, we're oh, in. Wow. We love Davon. <laughs> yeah, we're in. Davon's awesome. Davon's cool. Davon is so quick and with it and yes. smart, and her intonations and her beats are really mm. on, and her timing's really good. Um, anyways, the four of us were filming something cadence. in Orlando, uh, and we were. One all... would say she has good cadence. Is that the name of her daughter? Wait, is her is her, her daughter's, daughter's name is cadence? Is cadence? Oh, yeah, yes. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Sorry, okay, I didn't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dave well, on, I follow. I get. I I, yeah. I hear you, girl. It may it makes sense. <laughs> she's fucking hysterical. Um, she's on the challenge podcast now. Oh, awesome. Yeah, which is good. So everyone listen to that. Anyways, we're in the van. They're talking and they're in and I'm saying like, it would be sick if you guys came back and Mark's, you know, also talking. He's like, well, it's just too long. It's way too long for a lot of people. Yeah. And in that moment, in that van, we want OGs was born because I was like, why don't you just fucking pitch him? Yeah. To do a shorter season. Yeah. And in his to his credit. He took that idea and ran with it. Yeah. But I was there for the well, conception. Well, he ran a little slower than he used and, to run. Yeah, a little slower. <laughs> it was more of a trot. <laughs> yeah. Was, was they crawl. did have to bring, I, the, yeah. wasn't Jordan the first one they brought? They're like, Jordan, come do the OGs season. Yeah. They were like, all right, bizarre. we need to mix you guys in a little bit. <laughs> well, that's, again, once yeah. Yeah. once we go down that road, they're yeah. never going to go yes, down that of road. of course, yeah. They're just paving the way. They're like, hey, thanks, OGs, for letting us get this new show yeah. that we're now going to call all stars yes. and uninvite all yes. of you too. <laughs> <laughs> See you later. It's like a classic bait and switch, dude. Their awesome. testimonials were so different. They were like, well, yeah. when I picked my daughter up from ballet class, no, like, guys, someone needs a f- Okay. Yeah. Someone's got to bang someone. I know. There bad. is starting, even in your guys' generation though, there's being less f- We need, that's yeah. why they can never get rid of Fessy. He's got to every single I know. person in a season it's well, so funny well so now i mean i'm back on the radar i'm back on the roster yes and that's big for our that's yes. big for the show yeah no it is you know, we've never had it are you gonna be wild um oh because you were single or you weren't single i yeah. was in a five year yeah olivia i mean in the but there that's was a gap. Did a Nelly when he's all injured there was a gap oh poor nelson um, <laughs> I mean, dude we almost Legitimately, if you guys haven't fucking helped Nelson yet, his GoFundMe, fire some fucking cash off to that bitch. We almost lost Scuba Nelly T. I yeah, need you guys that to know that. Wild. He legitimately almost died. Yeah. If it wasn't for the Minnesota Vikings, right? Who, <laughs> who stood 100 yards away and was like, get him, get him. They're like, challenge star saved by Minnesota Vikings quarterback. I'm like, this motherfucker didn't do anything. He wasn't even close. He was still a what an Uber driver. An old lady ran over and saved Nelson. There was a NFL athletes filming across the street. They would give him all the credit. I was like, this is bullshit. Oh my god. That fucking guy's terrible. And then he took credit for it. <laughs> well, Nelly gave him credit. Yeah. <laughs> Nelly was like, was like all up on yeah. drugs he was like the minnesota vikings <laughs> yeah. oh they my god me. that's fu- i mean it is it's i'm nelson we're happy you're back you're killing it you're inspiring us all scuba nelly t forever all right yeah we'll throw we should throw his gofundme up yeah put the guy i want to buy his merch his level up merch yeah, right? yeah. i want to buy his merch do something <laughs> You know? I bought a Minnesota Vikings. Or send him a dick uh, pic or something, whatever <laughs> you need to do. Dick yeah. Dick yeah. Pic. Dick pics for Nelson. All right. So what are we talking? Um, you might you don't have to tell me numbers, but like how good is OnlyFans? For me? Yeah. Um like what do you mean? A year, a month? What are we talking about? Well, what do you want to give? Well, it depends on the month. So monthly it can get get pretty up there. Right. You can be looking at 50 or 60. Yeah. Cause you're, but that's cause your premium time. And that's like a, that's like if the you're entry. on the show and you post a photo 
and Johnny Bananas tries to make fun of you for that photo <laughs> and instead gets you 800 followers yeah. in a night. Yeah. So that's like one of those months, yeah. right? Shout out Bananas for doing that. <laughs> he, he goes, can someone tell Devin this will be on the internet forever? I'm like, duh, you f***ing idiot. Have you seen the other content I'm putting up? Yeah. Thanks for the free advertisement. Yeah. Uh, shit exploded that night. Yeah. So like in that situation, but easily quarter million a year. Yeah. Okay. Are you allowed to promote it on the show? No, no, definitely not. Right? That's so well, weird. I promote it on this show, though. Yeah. <laughs> Anyone yeah. has no rules, Let's baby. Go. <laughs> um, yeah, because we met um, at the comedy store. We met Ozzy oh, from Survivor. And he was like, I was like, oh, you should go on the challenge. He would be good on there. And he was like, I don't think they like my OnlyFans content. I'm like, what are you doing on there? Because everyone else has an OnlyFans. <laughs> What are you up to? Yeah, no, I mean, might honestly, be doing like penetration or something. <laughs> at this point, it is. So here's what you don't get to do. You don't get to make everyone take a bunch of sensitivity trainings. Right. Sensitivity training count. How many times has Devin said it throughout this podcast? I'm going to go 12. Yeah. At this point. So you don't get to make everybody do that and tell us that every that all these rules about acceptance, which I believe in mm-hmm. wholeheartedly, and then say uh we're actually going to discriminate against sex workers yeah don't get to do that yeah. sorry eat my butt and do you consider yourself as a, a sex worker i am now? a sex worker i work <laughs> in the sex industry and i support sex workers rights yeah i guess bear almost ruined it that he probably is the reason why it's so tight because didn't that happen on OnlyFans? he uh, posted their like sex video or something oh well, yeah, yeah but right. he did that's a different situation <laughs> yeah yeah but i think that's maybe why they are like a little but i don't know if that's what's it. happening maybe they just didn't want ozzy on the show and yeah, yeah so i can assure <laughs> I, like ozzy, I can assure ozzy that it's not because of his only fans all right buddy ozzy no one gives on a there. shit about your naked photos ozzy. <laughs> All right, your little dick, Ozzy. No one cares. All right. So, Ozzy, this is not how we all feel. Yeah. Okay. No one cares about Ozzy's little Peter. I did see him, though, on stage. While I was on stage, I looked at him and was like, Is that Ozzy? We're at an hour. We're Survivor Pete. Oh. But it doesn't really work. 70 minutes. Went back like a flash. Flash in the pan. Um,. Do these survivor people have a chance of getting in? Do you think to play the to game? To like actually win? Uh, or are you guys? Do you guys think you're always gonna? Here's the thing. We went over the top five, right? None of them were. You throw if you put all those people on a season, and you put me, and you put a few of the other guys that have a chance. No one else can win. Period. Yeah. You can't. You can't beat them. So, depending on the casting, right, that anyone's got a chance, right. But if the top dogs are there, yeah, it's just always going to happen. It happens every time. None of us are afraid of the other ones, right. Yeah. And again, I'm not putting myself in their conversation. Mm-hmm. But of current challengers, if I work out for six months, I'm very fucking hard to beat, right. So all of us are like, listen, we all think we can win, right. We all have good chances of winning challenges, yeah. Let's work together. Yeah. One of us is going to win and then we'll protect each other and we'll duke it out in the final. It was poor Danny. That was hilarious for Danny the whole time. Just like, (laughs) I get out of this. Who's Danny? Well, Danny, when he was uh, with Tori, he was with Tori, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, And he was just like, oh my God. He was like trying to play with other people. Yeah, yeah. Just wasn't going to happen. Yeah, that kid allegedly is not good. Yeah. I've heard a lot of reports on Danny. And uh <laughs> it's so funny to call him a kid. He's yeah. the grownest man. Is, is he's that, the grownest man. Yeah, is that he's not good at the game. Well, he can't, yeah, he didn't he didn't go with it. He could have just been in with No, but I heard he's not good. Like Tori beat him and everything. Oh, really? Yeah. And that's not from Tori. That's from other people that were there. I won't name names. But they were like Tori dusted him in that final. Well, also so, Yeah, it's weird. He's like a pro football. He's played for the Dallas Cowboys. So but here's the like, thing. Allegedly. <laughs> <laughs> seen any game film? Because I have But haven't. Tyson on that one season, 
Tyson, what season was it where Tyson didn't it finish? It was the he USA, do the yeah. He couldn't do the Sudoku. Yeah, he said, you can't do Tyson, a Sudoku. I know. Couldn't do a Sudoku. What, you, you never been on a goddamn Sudoku. airplane? Have you it's never like been most, on an airplane? It's the most simple thing to do. It's process of elimination. It's, it's, I know it was cold, but how He's like, I'll beat to... everyone in pickleball. I'll run circles around these guys. You can't and do a Angela? fucking Sudoku, bro. Angela, both of them. It was like, Jesus Christ. Angela was like, Come I'm just going to not do the challenge. They're like, listen, pillow princess. Yeah. <laughs> this is another one of those reasons why it's like, look, as we started, and I'm like, anyone that thinks they could walk into that show and have success yeah. is delusional. But they have to have a little delusion, right? To get anywhere, right? Maybe after four or five seasons. Right. Right. Maybe after four or five yes. seasons. But that's why the people that are all, again, on that list that you're talking about, even of all those people, yeah, it's like Darrell and Jordan, are the only ones that won inside yeah. their first four seasons. Mm -hmm. Doesn't happen because until you learn the game and until you learn how to navigate and until you fucking figure everything out, you're going up against. The, you're just outnumbered in terms of experience. Yeah, it's hard. You're in a. We're playing a different game. And you guys have been friends for a long time. You know each other yeah. better. It's like even if you don't like each other, you know each other better. Yeah, it's just, it's the same situation as anything else where it's like the longer you do it, the better you are at it until you become Joe Biden and then you're really bad at it. Yeah. He's too old to be president. <laughs> Don't say such controversial okay. things on this podcast. All right, so, yeah. All right. So if I join OnlyFans, it's his fault. Uh, fault. Yeah, I say thank you. It's just, everyone. Yeah. But I have to do like tis or what? I don't even think you do. I don't think you do. So, do you remember the King and the Sting podcast yeah. with Theo and Brandon? Yeah. Uh, Br or Brendan, who was the girl? I've slid in her DMs like a thousand times. Oh, we chatted a couple okay. times. Okay, we know your type now, Cat. Um, Cat. Okay. Cat's got an OnlyFans. So yeah. is promoting it. I don't. I'm not subscribed, I'm a but I don't comic, think though. she's. I, do like I don't think words. she's naked. Yeah. Uh, I think she does like foot things. I think she fucking kills it. <laughs> I like pixelate my feet just because guys jerk off to them. I've done the opposite of OnlyFans. Well, yeah, you don't want to give it away for free. Maybe that's a good point. It's all foot stuff. What if I just did feet? Oh my god. Oh, I did it. I did some foot stuff. Since 2017, I've been since I found out about yeah. Wiki Feet, I've I've completely covered my about feet. Winky feet. Wiki feet. Oh, Wiki, Wiki feet. feet. What the fuck is Winky feet? Winky feet sounds um, so cute. It wow, sounds like it does feet? sound Asian. Doesn't it sound like Asian there? girls' feet? Winky feet? Yeah, <laughs> winky feet. Is that that's a, where they just take photos of your feet and put they, them online? Yeah, and then they great they like uh, rate them. Wow. And I just went like, wow. you guys have been jerking one. up to my feet. What rating did you get? I got high. I got a good one. And then people are very mad at me in the comments, but they'll be like, oh, her feet are mediocre and i'm like oh you can't even say they're bad you can't even say they're bad i don't think i have amazing feet but wow i guess the internet likes them interesting yeah i mean so here's the thing if you're uh not if you're if you're in a position like you're in i mean there's a lot of reasons not to have one maybe you don't want one whatever if you like free money and you believe that we live in a simulation like I do, yeah. then there's absolutely no reason not to just have the best version of the simulation. Yeah. And we're gonna have to cut out simulation. Thanks, <laughs> uh, we're trying to make it in the on this YouTube business. Wait, uh, we have to everything's cut out simulation real. too? No, 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 what the no, no, fuck no, is going on no, here? No, no. We really are in the matrix, <laughs> this is bullshit. Um, thank you so much, do you have anything you wanna plug? Your OnlyFans? <laughs> I mean, pretty, pretty sure we did a good job of that. Yes. Uh, so, no. Thanks and for then having me. you did something cool yesterday, but we don't have to talk about it. Unless you want to. Filmed a commercial. Oh, it was a commercial. Cool. Yeah. What was it for? Uh, the movie Smile. Okay. Gran Turismo. Oh. Or as I tagged it in my Instagram story, Grand Turismo. <laughs> uh, not a good look. <laughs> Had to go back and edit that one. So, uh, Gran Turismo. That was me, Darrell, and Veronica. And oh, cool. the commercial's fucking hysterical. I think it's going to be good, so check it out. Cool. Yeah. Check it out, guys. And we'll have to call Sosie Bacon, too. I forgot to bring her. Uh, yeah, yeah. Kevin Bacon's daughter, who was in Smile. She loves you guys. Susie Bacon? Sosie. Sosie Bacon. Shout out Sosie Bacon. We love Sosie. All right, bye, guys. We really do. We love each other. It's the meat and potatoes.
welcome to any wood. This is the land of the stannies, annies, and fannies, and all of us eat bananas. Yeah, welcome to any wood. This is the land of the stannies, annies, and fannies, and all of us eat bananas. I'm gonna fire Oscar, I'm about to prosper. Blingy on my drinky, and Randy is living proper. Protector of the sick, she never let her fishes die. Never known to tell a lie, she even fixed Todd's eyes. Shout out to the slugs, shout out Woody's too. Shout out Esther and Kalila and the Annie Wood crew. Cause this is Annie Wood, you know that this is how I'm living. Real and never pretending shit, you know that it's a gift. Welcome to Annie Wood. This is the land of the Stannies, Annies, and Fannies, and all of us see bananas.